Hello, this is Dawn Taylor with Members First. Thank you so much for um, joining our webinar today on our junior program uh, reservation module. A couple quick housekeeping notes. Um, you are all on mute. Um, there is a question panel within the GoToWebinar um, box, and if you have any questions, please type your questions in the panel. Following today's presentation, I will go through all the questions that are asked and, and get answers to everybody. Um, the, uh, today's presentation is going to consist of a brief PowerPoint uh, presentation, and then we're going to jump right into our demo site, which is the Neptune Cove Club, and go through the actual registration process for your members, as well as uh, a high-level administrative uh, demo for you. So many of you on the phone are already Members First customers, which we appreciate and thank you very much for that, um, in which case you are probably aware that we have a full suite of reservations for your members, uh, starting with tea times uh, and then event registrations, dining reservations, and as you can see here, we have um, customizable systems for tennis, paddle, squash, um, even pickleball now, um, some overnight reservations, fitness, I have a club that actually uses our reservation system for their kayaks. They're on a river in Portland, and they uh, members can reserve their kayaks um, through the summer months. Um, but today we are specifically going to talk about our junior programs. So let's first talk about the um, benefits that you have from a member perspective as well as administratively. So thinking about your members, those parents, of course, with uh, children that they're wanting to book into some of the different camps that you're offering. Um, today they might be filling out forms that you have, uh, they may be calling the club, there's a lot of spreadsheets that get uh, that track these registrations. So number one, the uh, members now have a more streamlined process. They can go directly to your website and log in and go directly to the specific program they're interested in for their kids and register their kids. Um, of course, because it's online, it gives them that convenience factor of they can do it anytime, day or night. It's, it's um, always available to them. Also, it allows you to provide uh, programs that offer just a one single session uh, or multiple sessions. And they, the parents can go on and register their children for one of the sessions or multiple sessions. And they can actually register multiple children at the same time, which is very convenient. Um, also, because it's online, it allows you to drive your traffic, of your, your member traffic to your website from other means of communication. So as you're sending out emails or if you're posting with social, ne social media, um, anything that you're doing to communicate with your members, an online e-newsletter, for example, you can link them right into the program registration area where they can go ahead and get additional information on all your programs and then, of course, register their children. Um, also, once a member registers their kids, they get a full um, email that just details um, all of the registration activity, so it's a confirmation back to them. They can also access their registrations under a My Registration link from the website once they're logged in. That will show them everything that they've registered their kids for. And then for you folks, administratively, um, you have no more forms that you have to deal with, which is awesome. Um, it certainly streamlines the whole camp registration process um, by allowing your members to register online. It, just like members being able to book online for single sessions or multiple sessions, obviously you can then create those sessions, um, single or multiple. It also allows you to capture your emergency contact information. So anytime you're hosting these programs or camps for your kids. You want to make sure, of course, you know who you need to contact in the event of an unfortunate emergency. Um, you can create very specific forms and attach individual forms to your different programs. So if you have different forms, for, for example, your um, swim camps versus your golf camps or tennis camps, um, you can create different forms and attach them to those um, uh, sessions or programs. You also have reporting. So you can, you can run reporting based on session type as well as your booking member, which is the adult, as well as your children that are participating in the camp. So of course it's great to manage, to be able to print the list or, or use it from an iPad or some kind of tablet um, the day or the week of your camps. It keeps you very organized, 
but it also allows you to run historical data. So you can now online see how many people signed up for certain camps and certain seasons, and, and it allows you to better plan. And then, as I just said, your camp directors uh, can print a list of the kids. They can attach it to a clipboard or whatever their process is while they're out and about with all the kids um, on your golf course or at the pool or the tennis court. Um, or they could also just use a tablet, and they could be out there with their tablet and, and download a list of who they have um, in their group. Okay. So with those benefits being discussed, let's go ahead and jump right into our demo site, the club at Neptune Cove. I already have a member session, so I've logged in as a member to kind of show you that member experience. I log in as Diane Bolivar on the demo site. First thing I want to show you, this is my member homepage. Um, I just want to take a quick pop peek into the profile area here for the member. And one thing I just want to point out here under member information is the family information. Um, I am set up here with two children, Joey and Samantha. So this is pulling directly from the member directory. So wherever your member directory is, um, is housed, your master directory, you want to make sure you have those kids or dependents attached to a particular member. Um, that's an important piece here so that when the members are actually um, booking their kids into the camps, everything is all, um, all set up for them already. Um, also, as far as where you might want to put your camp registrations, you can put that anywhere. You could actually, if you have enough camps and it makes sense, you could actually have it as part of your primary navigation. You could have it as part of a utility navigation with all of your reservation systems, or maybe a call to action or a call out button somewhere on um, multiple pages within the members area. So we'll go ahead and just click on one of these. And this will take us right into the registration area where it lists the different programs. Okay. So I have a winter junior program, I have a tennis program, and I have my winter camps. Underneath, underneath each of them, I can show the different sessions that are available. As you can see, each of them have multiple sessions attached to them. And you can see here you have a date range. You could put some quick meeting notes in here as far as maybe, you know, morning session, afternoon session, after school programs, whatever it might be. If there's any cost associated to your member, you can also list that in here as well. Then you have your registration button and this little view that you see here, this is something that you can allow your members to see what other kids are registered for these particular um, programs or camps. And you can see I've already registered, this happens to be my two kids for the demo site. I've gone ahead and registered them for a couple programs here. So if I wanted to go ahead and register for a couple more, I'm going to go ahead and choose the next two weeks here, weeks 25 and 26, for um, my winter junior program. And I'm going to go ahead and just click on next. And this is a bit of a, a wizard, so you have to complete one step to go on to the next, and it just fills everything out for you. You can see the two I have listed here with the dates, and both of my children are listed, so I can register them both. Maybe Joey couldn't attend the second one, so I'm just going to go ahead and register Samantha there. Or I could register both. And I hit Next. And then because I've filled out this form already, it remembers my information for my emergency contact information here. Any notes that I would provide to the club, I would just type in that box. And that's for me as the, as the adult. But then I get into my, uh, my kids. Again, I have filled out this form in the past, so I um, have my allergies already tagged here for Joey. His shirt size, maybe he's grown up a little bit since the last one. I'm going to go ahead and get him a large. And then this is just showing that you can actually customize um, other questions, depending on the information you need to know about each of the children participating in, the, um, in your camp. Okay. I hit next. And then this takes me right into those general guidelines, um, any restrictions that you might have, Deposit, refundable deposit information in here, as you can see. These are those forms that you would create and then attach them. You can have multiple forms, as I mentioned, and then attach them to whichever program um, is appropriate. And then you want your member to um, initial that they understand and read the, read the announcement here, the guidelines. And then I get my final confirmation step. So I registered for three programs. It gives me that total cost right here gives me the information for um, Joey, who I registered for one session, and then Samantha, I registered for two. 
the cost for individual, all the other information, and then again, this emergency contact information for me as the parent. And I'm going to go ahead and complete that. It asked me to confirm it. And then I have um, registered for that as the parent with an email address on the system. I would receive the confirmation email. Um, also, I have this registration ID. This is something that you as administrators can use if a member ever calls and says, I'm inquiring about a certain session, I have my registration ID. You can certainly look it up by that as well. Um, members also have the ability to look at all of the um, camps or programs that they have registered their children for. Um, in the case of our demo site especially, it's a very big list, but when you click on um, my registrations, it will download everything that I've registered for. I've registered these kids for so many camps here. Um, and it allows you, as again, this is the member's experience, it allows you to see a full list. It also allows you to um, categorize them by different programs and then by the different um, sessions within those programs. Okay, so let's, um, here my screen just flipped so you can see here, here's one of my, uh, where my confirmations start in this transaction view. You can see it's just, again, on the demo site especially, it's a lot of information. Um, by clicking the session view, it's a little more of a manageable um, view for the member to, um, to see what they've registered their kids for. And you can see which kid is registered for which program. And then just clicking details gives you that detailed information of the forms that you have filled out. You can see we've been very busy. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, jump over to my administrative side. Now this is the back end kind of content management system. Again, many of you are members first customers on the phone and are very familiar with this. Um, all of the information for your junior programs are right here under programs. And of course, as anything here, you can add um, each of these to your quick links, whichever you're using the most, which uh, whoops, up here I have done. So I'm going to first go into my program's registration. Now, one question that always does come up is it's so convenient for the member to log in um, and book their children in any of these camps, but a lot of members like to talk to you. They like to call. They still want to have that personal touch, and if they do call you or they happen to be at the club and they happen to get um, hear the news of a particular camp and they ask you to register their kids, you can go right in here on the administrative side, um, just hit that new button, in this case, I've got my junior programs uh, booking member. This is I'll do myself, Diane, again. And then my participants, I can book any of my kids. And then it drops down the particular um, session. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll just choose my winter junior program. And then it gives me, again, all of those sessions. So I'll go ahead and just pick a different week. Any notes would go in here. And I just go ahead and hit Create. And then what it does is it takes me to those participant forms. So I've registered Samantha in here, and I have this same form that I can fill out. And then same with my emergency contact information. I would just go ahead and fill in all this information here. And my medical provider policy number and any notes that I would have. And then I would just go ahead and save that. So this is what you could do on the administrative side for any members that happen to call you. And it would reflect for them back on the members area. If they went back in and I went back to my junior programs and I went to my winter programs, this is the one I just registered for week 29. I just registered Samantha. So it's immediate and, and um, instantaneous that it updates the website as well. Okay, so let's go back to the program registration. So once you have all your registrations, this is where you go to get the, um, the reporting and, and all of the information that is available. So again, these are my junior programs. I can select a specific program. I'll stick with my winter junior program. You can choose by a particular start date. And if I hit search, it's going to give me uh, that start date is week 23. So this shows me I have Joey and Samantha booked in here. Um, I also can export this data. So if I hit this export registrations, it feeds all that information back over. So I've got the winter 
2017 Winter Junior Program, all my sessions, week uh, December 11th is my start date. All of these um, fields that you have carry right over to your export. And then you can also um, uh, customize how you want to export it. I'll just do a standard file format and whether or not you want to include all those notes in that contact information, which we certainly would encourage because if somebody is exporting this to be out on the field or the course or the, the tennis courts with the kids during a particular camp, it's good to have that information. Again, if they're using a tablet, it's right there for them. But if they print a list and they don't have this in, in an unfortunate um, accident or something happens and they need immediate access to a parent, um, it's good to be able to print that there as well. And I just hit export. And it's going to just go ahead and export um, right into an Excel file, which I think I have one right here. And it just gives me all of the information, as you can see, whatever was provided during the registration. Okay. All righty. And then if I jump back into my registrations. Now, there's some other areas that you can um, use this as far as um, running different reports or queries. You can also run by your booking member. So if I wanted to see everything that Diane Bolivar um, or how much activity Diane Bolivar has had, you can see um, a summary of how much Diane spends on the different camps, all the different dates of her registrations and how many individuals. But to get even more information, you can then drill down by child. So then I see under Diane, these are all of the camps that Joey has been to, which particular, uh, the individual sessions that he has attended. Same thing, I can swap it out and go to Samantha. And again, everything is exportable, okay? Give all that information in there for you. Um, also, if I go up to my quick links here, um, you can export directly from this particular icon. And then the program sessions meetings, I won't go into this, but this is basically where you would actually create each of your programs, each of the individual sessions. You would create your um, those forms where you're capturing emergency contact information. Um, all of that is done in here. Um, we, of course, during the implementation would provide training. We would set it all up for you during the implementation. And then we would provide training on how you would maintain it going forward. And any of our client services managers um, or myself um, can certainly answer any questions for you on um, how you would do that. So that being said, what I next want to take you to is our email system. So if I'm gonna go into new message. Now there's a couple different things that you have access to here. Again, this probably looks familiar for those of you who are members first clients. Um, you can communicate with the members um, through email or if you have our, um, um, our mobile app, you can communicate through push notifications. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and do a proof here for my junior camp. The first thing this does is it sends me to my um, distribution list. So all of your different distribution lists for email and push notifications are in here. Under program registration, I hit select. Very similar to what we just saw as far as running reports. I can go ahead and select one of my programs. I'm, I'm sticking with my winter junior programs. And I could send an email or a push notification to everyone who is registered for all of the sessions, or I could choose an individual session. Maybe I want next week's, which is week 23 in this case. Or I could do it by start date. And then if I hit next, this is just gonna take me right in to show me I can then send an email to everybody, or I can send a push notification. So with the push notification, all, you, uh, all your members need to do, you obviously, if you offered the Members First app, your members download the app. It's a club branded app, not a, not a members first branded app. So they would download the app and they just need to enable push notifications, just like any other app that they might use. Um, and then you could, you know, if you have a, a, rainy, a rainy day and you have an outdoor camp and you need to um, send a quick notification that camp is delayed or canceled, for example, um, this is a great way to do it. Something a little uh, bigger than that that you're trying to send a notice to, you can do that in an email. And you can actually do both of them together as well. Okay. That um, concludes the uh, demo portion here and the presentation. So what I am going to do is open it up for 
um, specific questions. So bear with me one second and let me just go right to my little question pane. Okay, looks like we do have um, a couple of questions. Um, first question is what is the um, length of the implementation process? So the implementation is typically 45 to 60 days and, and really what we recommend is that you, um, if you have existing forms that you're using today or different policies that you would send that information over to us. We can take a look at it, see how it would get built out in the system. Um, and then the actual implementation um, is about 45 to 60 days and we'd have you up and running. So um, any camps that you might be planning after the holidays going into spring, for example, um, now's a great time to get that started. Um, okay, let's see, a couple other questions. Um, can a member register their grandchildren? Yeah, that's actually a really good question. So what, um, what would happen is your, your, um, your member, so if the grandparent is the member, um, the children, as I had shown in that member directory, would just need to be listed as dependents um, for, those, um, for those grandparents. Okay. And uh, we have another question here, and that is, does this sync or integrate with CSI? Hi, Dustin. Um, so today it does not sync over to the CSI system. Um, that's the back-end billing system. You, um, you do get the Excel spreadsheet, though, and you would have um, all of the member information um, from that export and your um, pricing would be in there. So I'm not sure if you can import that into CSI. We could certainly um, talk with you about that offline um, as well as uh, maybe CSI would be able to give some information um, on that as well. Otherwise, it may have to manually be billed. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Um, another question looks like is coming in. Um, Oh, can you create an attendance sheet for counselors? Yeah, so the attendance sheet actually um, would be that uh, exportable spreadsheet. So when you get the full list of everybody, um, you can go ahead and um, just export that. And if you wanted to put it on a clipboard, you could do that. Um, or if you have tablets at the club, your um, camp counselors can um, certainly access the list through the um, through their tablet. So, yep, that's. That's easy enough to do. That's a great question. And I think that might be, I'll give it one more, one more minute here, but I think that might be the end of our questions. Um, oh, another question, can this be used for non-members? So today the system is primarily designed for members. So the members log in, um, to the website and their dependents are attached to them through their mem through the member directory. Um, however, the um, we can work with you as far as non-members um, if they if you set up kind of like a non-member or guest profile through the administrative area, you would be able to load them in or, or register them in um, to the system that way. So, um, and if you did. If you do not have a members area today, we can create a members area where they just simply log in and land directly on that page that had the programs. Um, if you didn't want to give them any additional in, uh, any additional pages in the members area, so we could certainly do something like that for you as well. Um, one other question: What is the cost? So the way the pricing works now, um, most of you have, if you're an existing members first client, you would have probably some money in a loyalty bank with us. Um, or you would be eligible for our customer appreciation program discounts. Um, so, but the standard pricing, um, the setup fee is $1,500, and the um, annual fee for support and maintenance is $1,200. And then again, the discounts would apply to the setup fee. So, uh, depending on the club, you certainly contact myself or Sean or any of your client services managers, and we can give you an exact um, price for you. Okay, great questions. Um, I think that 
looks like that is the end of our questions. So um, again, thank you all so much for attending. Um, those of you who are in the path of our snowstorm, we're up here in the Boston area, it looks like we're going to have a nice uh, white weekend. So those of you who are in that path, um, be safe and enjoy a little snow before the holidays. And again, have a great weekend, and thank you so much um, for participating today. Greatly appreciate it. Bye-bye now.